Watch this together. So basically, uh, yo, they were beefing in court. Chat, I gotta show y'all this. So Young Thug's lawyer was calling out the judge. My I never, gosh, I, you guys have You know, obviously, I'm not no lawyer, but, you know, really, we're a ghetto lawyer over here. Yo, Young Thug's lawyer was going crazy, bro, on, um, on, um, he was going crazy on the judge, basically saying the judge is playing games with him type shit. You feel me? He said, basically, the judge is embarrassing him and, like, kind of prejudicing the case by making certain comments in front of the jury, like, I think he had said, he said to he said to Young Thug's lawyer, "Yo, you're unprepared," and you got to realize a jury hearing that a lawyer is unprepared is almost like saying, "Yo, bro, like you're not capable of defending your client," and it's client is Jeffrey Williams, whose fate and like his freedom is in the is in um is in the the balance. Uh, is this it right here? Okay, I think this is it. And you've listened to them already. Then give me you one second. I'm gonna grab some. I'm grab some water and some liquor. Objection. Hold up. And I was trying to solicit from you whether or not deal with it. But well, well you know what? But, but here's the problem. Well, you I have, have a problem. I have a problem with because here's at, at the end of the day, I gotta listen to a 15 minute call. You don't have to listen to anything. But you have to make a ruling. Yes, on but I have to listen to it in order to make the ruling. Yo, on why are they going back and forth like this? Listen to the chicken call and the baseball call, and if you say there's other issues that come come into play. It's better for us to take those things up before I ask for that jury. And I could have done that this morning. I could have done that at another point in time. So, I mean, oh. I raised this issue to you, and I don't remember the date, but it was days ago. I raised it, and the court said, all right, understood, and we'll take that issue up when it comes. Now, okay. what am I supposed to do? Okay. Sit there and say no objection? No, no, exactly no, no, right. no, 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 no. I said, no. judge, it's an issue you need to take up. Not at all. In addition to that, today alone, and this happens, Today alone, the state introduced two exhibits. I've never been given them before, ever. You know what I did? No problem. No problem. Because I think that's professional. One was a Google map. It needs to be clarified for the record that it was not done on, October, on September 11, 2013. And then a map with little dots with, with, with um, t um, 0.4 miles I've never seen before. But I didn't do anything, Your Honor. I want to move the case. But when the court, it, it gives me no pleasure in saying this. I believe that this honorable court is biased against mm. Mr. Williams and or his counsel. And I ask you to consider recusing yourself or don't do this again to me. This is inappropriate to me. I respect you, but what am I supposed to do? Sit there? Yo, yo, you know, I've never seen a lawyer ream out a judge like this. Yo, he's, he's getting at that nigga, bro. Why you do this? I didn't do anything wrong. I did exactly what you teach me to do and okay. the courts teach me to do. All right. But instead, no, no, I got to finish this. Then I get told to this. You heard him? Yo, no, no, nigga, I got to finish this shit. Court. This court says by prosecutor love that I'm not being candid with the court and I'm misrepresenting because Mr. Bean never went to the hospital at Grady on September 11, 2013. And Miss Love has a document on the desk to prove it. I sat right in front of your honor at the, at the table, at the bench, and I said, I'd be careful what you say. That's not accurate. Mr. Love looked down on me, and she said, it is accurate. You said, we'll take a break, figure it out. After the break, you didn't even bat an eye. Ms. Love said, yeah, I was totally wrong. Mr. Steele's right. He was taking a gravy. If I would have done that and called another member of the bar disingenuous, not truthful, no candor, and misrepresenting, you would have had me yelling in front of a jury. You did nothing. You didn't even ask Ms. Love to apologize. I don't want her apology. I don't care about Ms. Love. But I care about the court. And now if you can walk in someone else's shoes just for a minute and see what you're doing to Mr. Williams, because it's hurtful. I'm not the one wasting time. I'm here every day ready to go. I am not wasting the time. I make a motion to ask you to please recuse yourself. I know it has to be in writing within five days. If you want me to do that, I'll do it. And that's to go to another judge. But this is what's going on, Your Honor, whether you see it or not. You're yelling at me in front of a jury for nothing. And then you won't apologize. And I did nothing wrong. Ever Mr. on these occasions gonna, others. I'm going to go ahead and address your motion at this point in time. I'm going to deny your motion at this point in time. Um, and also just direct you that I have the responsibility to control the proceedings in, these particular, in this particular circumstance. Sometimes uh, things get kind of, kind of heated, and that's kind of what, that's the crucible and trial um, of any particular case. I am not in any way in, in, intimating or insinuating that you are not professional you are not prepared but 
the things that I am bringing up to both of you, and I have, I have fussed at both sides for this particular issue of not being prepared in the sense of, and the only reason it, 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 it affects the trial of the case is it makes the proceedings a lot longer than they should be because all these things could be taken up. And sometimes if we've got to parse out all these things, as you can see right now, it takes time. And, they, and that's what I'm kind of concerned about having been a jurist for a long time. So um, I understand that you're a zealous advocate. Um, you in no way offend me by, by raising any type of motion. Uh, I think you're doing a, I think that you are representing, you and the others here are representing your clients well, but sir, I, I have to be able to control these proceedings. And you at times in these proceedings have not listened to what the courts told you, and I certainly could have explored other options. I didn't. So I'll tell you that much to, for what it's worth. You but, allowed a member of the bar yesterday ask a witness. Sassy. Who constantly is committing respectfully, potentially perjury. Did Mr. Steele shut off and turn on the recording? I never did that. I wouldn't do that. And I didn't do that. Okay, and but sir, that's a, that's let me, let me sir, sir, that's I a, would have said that question to about another member of the bar, a prosecution. You would have come over the bench and said, how dare you? I, I sat there and I said, outrageous. You okay, denied the motion. I but, think three other people made motions to strike or to object. You denied it. Judge, I'm just telling you the appearance, if not the reality, is not good here. I'm, I'm being... What, to who? To Mr. Williams. Okay, but it, maybe he, to the others. Maybe you're, his, you're, you're, you're his advocate, okay? And that that to, that separate issue of whether or not you did what you did, the state accused you. The state accused you of that they have the right to at least inquire about whether or not that particular that happened. Now, whether or not it happened or not, I'm not making any comment on it. But it goes to bias. It goes to mis motives to misrepresent. So, so but, but that but, never happened. No but, okay, but I'm, I'm, not I'm not commenting. I'm not commenting on that. That's for I, the jury. To, that's for the that's for the jury to decide. I asked the question about a missing. Recording that I wasn't given. Okay, uh, I, I I do know that uh, sexy red is on um, uh, stream with Aiden right now. We are going to react to that. Uh, what I did want to show you guys is, you know, th this is why th th this clip is like important in context because now they're saying these the, the uh, YSL trial could be going until twenty twenty seven. Okay. They're anticipating that the trial is may last multiple years because of the amount of witnesses the state has. The state has, I believe, either 300 or 500 witnesses. And what has been shown so far, each witness ain't going up there for 15 minutes. Niggas go up there and they're there the whole week. So if you got to think about it, if somebody on average, let's say two days, right? If you got to bring... 500 people for uh, 500 people at least for two days let's say two days on average you're gonna take damn near three years to complete just the witnesses then you got to do other things and then close close out the case and yeah so um are those my puppies yeah they are Anyway, so, so, so it looked like this trial is going to go on for a long time anyway l l let's go react to what my boy Aiden got going on as I said I was supposed to be in Miami. Uh, I would have